Okay, so this is the P2110. Transmeta TM5800 at 867 megahertz, 256 megs of RAM, and a 2.2 gig hard drive for testing. And this is what happens when I try to boot up Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs for the first time. This hard drive is out of an IBM ThinkPad of some manner, and it does work fully. And that's it. It just sits there, endlessly. That is absolutely it. I don't know what causes this. I don't know what the deal is, but <clears throat> if I turn it off, <clears throat> I turn it back on, and I uh, hold down the magical F8 key, and I pop it into safe mode. It also, once again, just sits there. So, there is some sort of lockup or panic happening with the NT kernel that just doesn't like this machine with uh, Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs. I'm not exactly sure why. Now, what I could think might be the issue is that the Transmeta CPU driver is not existent on the actual image of FLP that is given to you by the FLP installation disk. So I'm thinking if I pop into installation and I get a command prompt and copy over the files and figure out exactly what I did to enable drivers with I think it was like Vista or 7. I don't know if it'll work with uh, XP, FLP, that sort of thing because I've never tried it before. But if I find a way to force driver registration for those two individual things somehow I might be able to get it to work properly. Now I'm just putting this up on YouTube for the sake of anyone with a Lifebook P series of this vintage with a Transmetic Rousseau. In fact, anything with a Transmetic Rousseau, because I'm not sure if this is just related to this particular Fujitsu or if it's anything else. But it doesn't seem like FLP will work on a Transmeta based machine, to my knowledge. Now, POS Ready 2009, from what I am told, is technically the same as normal XP, just enlightened down, they changed some logos around and removed some stuff. So, that might work better on here. Now, the XP Service Pack 3 installation that I currently have for this is in perfect health on the 80GB drive that I already had installed in this machine. I've only just replaced it with this 2.2 gig drive to prove this much of a point. Now if I can go and I can make this happen and get fundamentals to actually boot up on this thing, I will update with a different video regarding this. So thank you for your time for watching this video. Um, if you have comments and if you have installed fundamentals for legacy PCs on a Transmeta Crusoe based machine, please let me know because it seems to me like it's not possible. And that's a little alarming to me because, honestly, FLP would probably be the best ideal OS for this because of how lightweight it is and because it's based around the Windows Embedded kernel compared to the normal XP kernel. All right, so thank you very much. And just for the sake of the video,
setup does boot. Here we go. Okay. And there's a command prompt. 